you doing today? All right, I'm going to try to show you how to make some salmon rolls. And uh, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take some fresh salmon, which I've cut up into chunks and deboned. I'm going to use a little bit of green onion, some salt, and some pepper, and some sesame seeds. I'm going to roll that in nori, which is Japanese seaweed, like you find with sushi. And I'm going to dip that into a combination of flour and pancake batter that I've mixed very lightly. And we'll fry it in a little bit of canola oil. I'm going to serve it just like sushi. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the salmon, which I've cut into little chunks. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to toss in some green onion, um, maybe a couple tablespoons of green onion. And I'm going to throw in some sesame seeds. And I'm going to put in just a pinch of salt. And I'm going to put in a pinch of pepper. And once I have that onion and the pepper and salt and the sesame seeds thoroughly mixed up, I'm ready to go to my next step, which is to roll it in this nori. Now, you are going to need to get a sushi roller, which you can get at an Asian market or sometimes in the international food section of your grocery store. And then you just put that nori down on there. And you don't want to put too much salmon in. Now, that's one thing that you could have a problem if you put too much. You want to make this maybe the size of a nickel um, in diameter when you're done. And just put the sushi on down on one side about maybe a third of the way up and don't put it all the way to the edge because if you put it all the way to the edge when you roll it, it'll be coming out the size. So once you have that, you just simply Slowly roll it and just don't worry because it does not have to be perfect. Some of the nori is going to rip, it's going to crack a little bit, and that's perfectly normal. Then, once you have it partially rolled and there's just the edge, you just put a little bit of water on that nori there. And like I say, don't worry about it being perfect because it's not going to be perfect. And the next step to this recipe is to dip these into a little bit of pancake batter mixed with flour. And I mix it pretty light. So it's just a little lighter than if you were gonna make pancakes. Um, I'm using canola oil today. And you just slowly dip that in there. You don't want a lot on there. We don't want a lot of batter. And we just put it right into the oil. So I'm gonna dip that in quickly because this isn't gonna take very long to cook. I've got the oil going about 375, 400 degrees. And uh, we're just gonna lightly brown them and then we're gonna cut them up and eat them. Now that uh, we've got this fried up golden brown on both sides, I'm just going to be careful to take it out of this oil and let it drain for a second. I'm going to put it right onto a paper towel and a paper plate. And it comes out looking just like that. All right, the final step here is to take this and to cut it up. I usually like to chop it on a diagonal. And I just chop that up. And usually comes out looking pretty darn nice. And I lay that on a sushi platter. And I guarantee you, people will love it.